Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Power Electronics News and today I am at APEC 2025 showing in Atlanta and I have the pleasure to be here at the Volspeed booth with Jay Cameron, senior vice president and general manager power at Volspeed. Hi Jay, thanks a lot for being here. Hey Maurizio, very good to be with you today. Thanks for taking the time to, to talk with me. Thank you. How's going? Everything is good? Yeah, it's been a it's been a really good show. Um, you know, APEC is just a tremendous place for us to engage with yeah, power yeah. electronics colleagues from around the world, and and it's it's Indeed. been it's been tremendous. Yeah, tell me tell me more. Any key technological, any key technology, any uh, breakthrough, any news? So please uh, tell me more. Yeah, I, I think uh, you know as I as I think about where we are in our journey. I joined Wolfspeed in 2018 to focus on silicon carbide technology. And back then in 2018, I would say it was a niche technology. And so the thing that's just really impressed me about where we are today is silicon carbide has now become mainstream for power electronics. And it's, it's just really great to see the breadth of adoption and, and all the different applications that our customers are, are, are taking the technology into. Um, so, so yeah, the, the mainstream nature of it is, has been really great. Mm -hmm. The other thing that, that has been really encouraging for me here in the present moment is now that the industry is getting more and more comfortable with silicon carbide technology and the benefits, we're really seeing engineers push the limits of the technology to really be able to bring out the best in performance at the system level. And so watching our customers go through that process to really bring bring the value out of silicon carbide is, has just been a lot of fun for me. Thank you. So let's talk about uh, your latest news a uh, couple of weeks, months uh, ago, the, the, Gen, uh, the Gen 4 silicon carbide uh, MOSFET. So w what are the, the key technological advancements compared with the, the, previous, the previous one, but also how these uh, uh, advantages would be translated into real world efficiency gains? Yeah, excellent. So we're we're really excited about our Gen 4 silicon carbide MOSFET technology. In fact, we're we're in front of the demo here today that showcases some of the key advantages of the technology. Really the first thing that we focused on for our Gen 4 MOSFET was was being able to deliver efficiency improvement at the system level in a real-world operating environment. So that's been really the big theme. If we break that down, Let's talk about efficiency first. Yeah. With with the Gen 4 MOSFET, we've been able to, to get up to 21% improvement in on resistance, and then at the same time, up to a 15% improvement in switching losses. So you bring both the improved conduction and the improved switching performance together, and you get a really great efficiency benefit at the system level. So, so that's been a, a tremendous step forward for the technology. The second thing that we really focused on was durability. And so what, what, we've, what we've tried to do here and, and, and have successfully demonstrated is to be able to switch the, the Gen 4 MOSFETs very fast, mm. but at the same time doing it in a way that reduces the ringing or the overshoot uh, that, that you see in the waveforms. And so if this demo actually showcases it nicely, we get up to an 80% reduction in the voltage overshoot, which makes for a, a much more manageable environment for our, uh, our customers and the engineers that are designing with it. You couple that with, with an improvement in the short circuit with stand time, we're now up to 2.3 microseconds. Now you've got a few features that, that really come forward at the system level for durability as our customers are designing. The third, the third thing that is, is really key here is what, what we're really trying to do is bring system level cost improvements for our customers. So I think about that in terms of performance for cost. And if, if you think about what we've talked about so far, the net of it is we're able to get about 30% more power out of the same footprint. And so what that allows our customers to do is really be able to, to build a, a smaller, more compact system and, and reduce their system cost as a result. So you, you bring all of those together and I think we've executed well on bringing that efficiency improvement at the system level, able to, to perform in a real world operating environment. Thank you, so 
With the Gen 4 senior byte MOSFET being built on 200 millimeter wafer, so how this would uh, translate? Uh, uh, how does would translate in terms of ability from world speed to scale production? How this would translate also in terms of uh, adoption for different industry? Like uh, so, I can mention electric vehicle. I can mention renewable energy, and and so on. So talking about electric vehicle, what is your thought? in this market. Yeah, so we're really excited about the progress that we've made on our 200 millimeter manufacturing yeah. footprint, both for the base materials, the silicon carbide substrates and epi wafers, as well as the devices that we manufacture in our, in our relatively new Mohawk Valley fab in upstate New York. Um, so as I think about the transition to 200 millimeter, really the big thing that it does for us is it, it puts us in a position to have the ability to scale capacity as the industry adoption continues to grow for silicon carbide. And I think you're right, we're seeing that adoption continue to increase and progress, certainly in the electric vehicle space, but also in a number of industrial applications for power supplies and motor drivers, and, and then certainly in the energy space as well. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of breadth of market opportunity for us and the 200 millimeter footprint and, and especially our Mohawk Valley fab in New York really puts us in a position to be able to serve the growth yeah. that the industry is going to have for, for years to come. Yeah, electric vehicle, I should say transportation. It's not only electric vehicle, car per itself, but also train and other applications. Right? Yeah, certainly uh, the, the broader category for me would be e-mobility. E-mobility, So yes. if it, it, whether it's a, a passenger vehicle, a commercial truck, uh, even looking at, at aerospace, uh, marine transportation, uh, if, if it moves and it, and it has a motor, then, then we've got an opportunity to, to see the electrification of that. And, and I'm excited about what, what could come in the future in that space. Great. So, last question for you, Jay. So, we will see more application with Sion Garbide going to replace even more IGBT with also the advent of uh, other advantages of other wideband gap materials. So, how do you see so, a sort of competition, if we can say competition, in the next future? Well, certainly there are other technologies beyond silicon carbide that are out there that are looking to do the same thing that, that we are with our silicon carbide technology, and that's bring even greater performance to, to our customer base. So what I'll tell you is that the, the focus for, for Wolfspeed, and for me, is 100% on silicon carbide. That's our core competency, that's our core technology, and we really believe that we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what silicon carbide can bring to the high voltage power electronics marketplace. So that's where we focus. The team did a, a great job with the innovation of the Gen 4 MOSFET, and I'm really proud of the work that they did in order to, to bring this technology uh, to production for our customers, and, and I'm excited about the adoption that we're getting so far. But the team is also continuing to innovate on the technology that will uh, extend our, our technology leadership in the next generation, and I'll look forward to the opportunity to, to say more about that at the right time but we think there's a lot of runway left, left to go with silicon carbide, so that's why we feel comfortable remaining laser focused there. Good, thank you Jay, thanks a lot uh, for uh, your time. Thank you so much Maurizio, really good to see you here at APEC and, and I, uh, I hope My everybody enjoys the, the video and, and the opportunity to hear more from you about the, the advances in power electronics. Yeah. Thank you, have a good day at APEC 2025 and stay tuned to Power Electronics News, thank you. Thank you.